Please, A.U. Singh Dev. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. The Admiralty Jurisdiction Settlement of Maritime Claims Bill 2017 is very welcome, sir, and uh, we uh, support it. India, sir, is one of the leading maritime nations and maritime transportation caters to about 95% of its merchandise trade value. The process of drafting the bill, a suitable legislation to repeal the existing colonial, colonial law was made back in 1986 by the DG of Shipping. Thereafter, the Supreme Court also emphasized on it in 1992. But it's taken us decades to bring this legislation into place, which, was, uh, which has been pending for very long. We have 12 major ports, 205 minor ports in this country. And the existing legislation only restricts it to high courts of Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras. This bill repeals the obsolete laws laid, uh, laid earlier in the colonial times. The Admiralty Court Act 1840, the Admiralty Court Act 1861, Colonial Courts Act of Admiralty Act 1890, Colonial Court of Admiralty Act 1891, and the provisions of Letters Patient 1865. This is repealed. It's very welcome. It consolidates the existing laws relating to Admiralty jurisdiction of courts, Admiralty proceedings on maritime claims, and arrest of vehicles. It confers Admiralty jurisdiction on coastal states high courts, which will extend up to territorial waters. Using a notification, using gov a union government can extend jurisdiction to A, islands that are part of Republic of India's territory, B, any maritime zone in India, C, exclusive economic zone. It applies to every vessel irrespective of place of residence, domicile, or owner. So this is a very welcome uh, bail. It's hugely delayed. It extends admiralty to jurisdiction to Karnataka, Gujarat, Odisha, Kerala, and Hyderabad High Courts. It provides for a prioritization of maritime claims in cases of disputes. With maritime claims, highest priority is given to the wages. Somebody else was also saying the highest priority should be given to loss of life personal injury and accidents. And the claims and the priority to the wages should come down in the order of preference. Such claims will continue to even exist with the change of ownership of the vehicle. So there are uh, certain suggestions uh, which I would like to put forth. As mentioned by some other members as well, the high courts uh, will be burdened with a lot of legislation, and we need to will fill the vacancies in the High Court to ensure clearing of pending claims. In Clause 17, Subclause 2, notwithstanding the repeal, all admiralty proceedings pending in any High Court immediately before the commencement of this Act is written in accordance with the provision of this Act. I would submit. We should change that line to shall continue to be educated by such court in accordance with the provisions of this act. The, there is need to provide clarity on this clause as the bill does not define how the existing proceedings will be transferred after the implementation of the act even to other courts. Identification of territorial waters, especially for states like West Bengal and Odisha, is to avoid, try and avoid overlapping of jurisdiction. Such, uh, this would help in clarifying matters. Other 
some other points I would like to put forward, uh, forth is this, uh, that legally some more mechanism needs to be put in place in this bill, like fee litigation settlements. We don't have that covered anywhere. This could be improved and put in later. Tribunals, which could be also put in later so that the litigation doesn't necessarily have to go to high courts and supreme courts. They could be settled in an amiable, amiable manner. Sir, otherwise, I think this bill has been long delayed, and we are grateful, and we support this bill wholeheartedly. Thank you. The next speaker is